Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can upload big files using SAF and fi file data properties. Uh, in this case, uh, for the demonstration, here I have a SAF um, solution, it's a regular solution, it's web windows, and it, in this case it only contains one domain object with the properties of name and attachment, which is the file data that we're going to use. So let's run this and see how it works. So let's try to upload a new file. In this case, um, let's name it simple and let's try to download uh, to upload a small file this is one megabyte no problem we save it now let's try to do something different let's try uh, five megabytes This Windows updater is 5.6. 5, 5 it didn't upload it. Why? Uh, not because of SAF or XPO or database. The problem basically is the configuration of our IIS. In this case, we go to the web config and what we need to do is add an attribute in this case max request length and we will set it to this is a hundred megabytes uh, the information for this attribute is in here I will put it on the um, on the information box on this video if you see the name of the attribute is HTTP runtime and the value is the tag max request length but you need to write it like this with lowercase m. If you write it like this, it won't work. It will actually not uh, run. So we have the default value is four megabytes. Um, it's in here, see? So that's why it doesn't load uh, or upload files that are five megabytes. So in this case, we will be able to upload files that are bigger than four megabytes. And let's uh, upload the same, and it works. Let's try a new test. We're going to do 90 megabytes. So we have the WhatsApp installer, but it fails in this case. Why? Because we need to modify another attribute. In this case, it's an attribute of the web service or the web server. Sorry. Uh, is request limit. Here are, in this link are the attributes for the um, uh, for the configuration of the web server. In this case, max allowed content is 30 megabytes by default. So the file was 90, we were not able to upload it. There is a sample here in Stack Overflow when they change both. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this security request filtering request limit and i know this should be inside of the web server tags so let's go here web server the beginning web server the end and i'm going to paste it here and stop this save and run again And we create a new, this is going to be 90 megabytes. 
and WhatsApp. Installer, it's loading and it's load, and we save it to the database. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's quite easy. Most people think it's a SAF problem or an XPO problem, but it's not. It's basically how you set up the web server. So it's quite easy, but you need to have knowledge of how to handle the web servers from .NET applications. So with this, I leave you guys and see you in the next tutorial.